few weeks ago, I put a post up on Instagram, and it was basically a video like this, and somebody wrote on it, you love yourself too damn much. And uh, I don't like to get on, get into fights over social media, and so whenever that happens, I normally just either delete it, or I'll send like a really funny response to it, like, I don't know, somebody wrote gay on one of my things, and there's nothing wrong with being gay, but I wrote, yeah, if you mean I'm happy and jolly, awesome. You know, just stupid little things like that. But this person was like, man, you love yourself too damn much. And I was like, you just don't get it. You don't get it. I do. I love myself a whole lot. You know why I love myself a whole lot? Because that's what's necessary. And what I'm trying to do with all of you is get you to love yourselves as well. I want you to love yourself more than anybody else on the face of the earth. You know why? Because until you can do that, one, you can't really love anyone else. You can't take care of anyone else. You can't have the confidence in yourself necessary to make your dreams come true. I think that every person out there, especially veterans, need to love themselves a little bit more. Why? Just what I just said. You can't make anything happen unless you absolutely love yourself. You can't even see your own problems. You can't even see your own imperfections unless you love yourself. You know why? Because it takes work to see your own imperfections. It takes work to understand what's wrong with you. It takes work to understand where you're falling short. You've got to do a whole lot of self-analysis for that. So for anybody who says, I love myself too damn much, you're exactly right. And you need to love yourself more too. You need to love who you are. And if you don't love who you are, you need to figure out a reason to love who you are. That means you have to think. That means you have to gain a little bit more self-confidence to understand that in order for you to move forward, you've gotta be comfortable with yourself. And you gotta love yourself enough to put the work in on you. And if I seem cocky, if I seem like I'm too into myself, well, I'm not gonna apologize for that, right? And the reason why I'm not gonna apologize for that is because that's me. And that me has come after a whole lot of hating myself for a long time. Hating myself so much that I didn't take care of myself. Hating myself so much that I didn't put work in. And I found myself living out of my own car. And I found myself with no money, no one to love me back. Because I didn't love myself enough to put the work in to become a better person. So, find it within yourself. Find it within yourself to be a person who you can love. Be a person who you like enough, love enough in order to do things like get out there and work out, in order to do things like build your brain and read. Because that's how it starts. It starts by you forming an agreement with yourself and loving yourself enough to hold that agreement and to hold yourself accountable for making your own dreams come true and for getting through this life in a way that allows you to live the best life possible. And because I love myself enough, I'm able to find love for all of you and able to put the work in to try and do something to make your lives better. Because unless you're doing something to make other people's lives better in this world, then you're not gonna find success. And you're not gonna be able to make other people's lives better until you like yourself enough, until you love yourself enough to find the self-confidence to know that you can. That's all I got for today. I love you all. Peace.